Welcome to the Natural Capital Plant Database. This is Dan Halsey. And I and Paula Westmoreland welcome you to the database at ncplants.com. This is just a short tour of the site. Um, the first one here, this first recording is just of the front page and your access. After this, there's a 30-minute tutorial about using the plant database and its features. Here at the top of the page, you can see that uh, we have our logo and then there's an enter uh, the site. If you do not have a login, you can enter the site and it gives you more detailed information and all the services about the site. If you have want to directly log into the plant database, uh, you can click on the second line and that will take you directly to uh, the database services. After you're logging in, you'll see a lot of different choices in the left columns which will be explained. Those are Some of those are what we see here. On the left, when you get in the plant data database immediately in plant selection, you'll see a list of plants. There's 1,400 plants listed there, alphabetical by common name, but also listed with a scientific name, and then links to natural associates and cultivated polycultures. You can search for plants on that list by putting the common name or the scientific name in the top uh, entry area. The next thing you'll have if you click on one of these plants in your list is you'll get to the plant detail page. That plant detail page is filled with all sorts of information about the plant, its characteristics, its ecological requirements, human uses, tolerances, and such. We try to put as much useful information on the page about the plant and not a lot of narrative, just a lot of good details for using in design purposes that you might have. Um, to the right of that, you'll see that that is a, a small little uh, capture of the search page and that we start getting down to the nuts and bolts of the plant database and that's where you put in your ecological functions you're, that you're searching for in your niche but also the, all of the environmental conditions that you're working with at the time where this plant or series of plants might go uh, filling in your ecological requirements uh, your niche conditions for the plant and then the human uses you're looking for and or the ecological functions you're looking for will output a list of plants uh, much like you see on the far left or on the far right. Uh, all the plants will be listed that fit those parameters that you put in the search. It's a relational database, so all the plants that fit those parameters will be listed. And then again, you can click on any one of those plants and get the detail plant page of all the plants uh, that fit your search. Uh, at the bottom of that page, uh, when you have the list of plants after your search, you'll also see if you are uh, one of the uh, designer subscribers there will be an export button and you can export your final search information into a spreadsheet this will export an Excel compatible spreadsheet with all of the information off of the database for you and you can open that up in Excel and use it to sort and move and highlight and find the plants that you want and arrange that and format it however you wish for export and printing for your design this is a great way to build a plant list and then print it out and have it uh, copied onto your design or putting it in your plant uh, uh, property portfolio um, or share with uh, when you're buying plants and pricing plants you can add columns just like any Excel program and resort it for whatever your purposes might be. Um, all the lists, the human uses and ecological functions, tolerances and characteristics of the plant are listed in this spreadsheet in great detail. On the far right here, the last thing I'll talk about is that we have polyculture databases, and these are plant polycultures that are already put together. These are uh, plant systems that have been collected um, and devised by designers, and these are the plants for certain areas, and you can search for those alphabetically, or you can search for those by type uh, using the search tool for plant polycultures in the left column. And again, that will give you a list of plants that you can output to an Excel spreadsheet and use for purchasing the plants or making your plant list and also adding columns of course because you're, the number of plants you're going to put in or any designation of position you can add that to the spreadsheet also to help you stay organized. It's a great way for project management, it's a great way to disseminate the list of plants to clients, project people, installers, people that you're working with. Uh, and this is what we really love about the Natural Capital Plant databases. This is a tool for designers. It's not narratives. There is detailed information in every plant. There are some, some narrative information about the plants and their uses um, and some of the concerns that there might be for the plant. But other than that, it's basic information to help you design. And so this is a plant database for designers and exporting plant lists that are specifically tailored to the ecological conditions that the designer is working with. 
either be it zone, soil type, sunlight, water regimes, or extreme situations. You can do a search for that on the plant database and get the plants that will fit your space. Um, you can click then on to enter the website from this from this point on the database or to log in if you have a login and then you have additional features. Our next recording is a 30 minute uh, tour of the site and its functions uh, that I think works quite well to explain what it does. And I can see that you and then you will see the value of uh, using the site and we'll hope that you will use the site and help us uh, expand the site and keep adding more plants. Again, for Paula Westmoreland, this is Dan Halsey, and we both welcome you to Natural Capital Plant Database and look forward to working with you in the future.